Ahem, today, I'm going to tell you about the story about the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook, as if it was the very world had come to a violent end, but on a single night. The town sang into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in, that an ancient city lay deep underground, and the magnificent treasures rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. Finally, I have a minute without turds worth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way in here in holiday, I don't want to be stuck with Toadsworth. How stifling. Once in a while, I like to chance and look around my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I can see is a ton of very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy Missy. Ooh. Oh, do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh well. Um. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock on it and will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one as myself touches it. Ooh. I know. If the box won't open for you, Missy, then you may have to have whatever's inside. But I'm sure whatever's in there would be of no use like someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll try to open it. Yo, 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 yo! Welcome, welcome to to Mario 64. Wait, Thousand Year Door. La, da, 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 da. I am bored and I'm singing along to the music and I'm gonna stop and say Mail Call! I'm gonna pick up my mail cause I'm Luigi and I got the mail in my hand I'm walking up the stairs and I'm going inside Hey bro, check it out, a letter from Princess Peach, a ride for you I'll just read it to you, how does that sound? Ahem, now let's see here I'm gonna give Luigi like this weird voice Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a myst mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? Damn. I have included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach! <clears throat> Damn, Peach is forcing Mario to do things? I mean, he would. He loves her. 
What do you know? It's true. There's a we there's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. See, I can't read, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to read. Also, I just noticed in the background that Mario and Luigi have their toothbrushes in like in a in a Voss base, whatever it's pronounced. But yeah, here we go, guys. Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I am very glad that I can finally do this project. Um, it's one of my most like highly. I've been wanting to do this game for like the longest time since I completed Paper Mario 64, but uh, my original copy did not work. So I have to thank my brother-in-law Victor for lending me his copy of the game that works perfectly fine. My copy just kind of like chugs, not chugs, but like it has error messages a lot. So I'm very grateful and I hope this project is successful and I can do stuff and things. Yay! Okay. So now we're going to start by going to Roport. On boat. Here we go. Welcome to the prologue. A rose, welcome. All right, nice title. Here we go. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Dude, it is. I had a voice crack there. Ugh. <laughs> You see, we arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. That's totally fine. Man, it's... Oh, man, that's... It's so nostalgic seeing this place for the first time in, like, years. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival ha was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sore tales about Roadport on our way here, didn't I not? I wonder who's actually the boat driver guy. What? Is that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Er, uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But you seriously be careful, sir. I say it and warn you. <laughs> sorry, I don't know how to read. I'm very illiterate. A little lot. But anyways, yeah, our adventure starts now in Roadport. Oh my gosh, we're finally here. Um, I'm gonna save here really quick. Yes, you can find a block and you can save. So these blocks, if you didn't know, the first time you're playing this game, you can save in these. It's pretty good. I recommend it. Let's talk to some of the locals here. Oi, welcome to Rogue Point. Bit of a nasty place, eh? Got guts coming in. Look like a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Well, I just explained that. Thank you. Jesus. All right, you, you have nothing else to say. Let's talk to you. What do you want, pal, huh? Princess in the pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I remember a princess, probably. But why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, you money? <laughs> she a girlfriend. <laughs> Damn. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, snap. There's stuff going on. Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew. Oh, <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream, really! Jesus, can I talk to you? Oof! Wait, oof! Oof! Arf! Oof! Off! Out of the way, you scallywag! Move your ever-loving bones! Blimey, a fight? Quarkin. Hey, 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 nothing so fun as watching some poor bloke have it with his wife as this. I can't, I can't speak pirate talk. Hold on. Have it out with his missus, eh? Just jumped over again. Yikes, look like trouble over there. Probably not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. I like how his hat is like a green with white, kind of like the one up hat. That's pretty interesting. Alright, we have a hammer, by the way. <laughs> I actually didn't explain that. Like, I go anywhere with a smelly lunatic like you. Hmm, not likely. What? Huh? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Who are you talking to? God, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crump-a-bomb. And here we go. This is our first fight in the entire game. 
This is, looks really familiar if you play the original Paper Mario, and also this is canon to the original Paper Mario, then why does my stats reset? I get it, it's a new game, but I know I should not be level 10 with 5 thingy. Okay, sorry, I'm not level 10, I'm level 1. Alright, so I can do some attacks here. I have no items. You can use your hammer, you can use your jump. Press A to jump just before stopping an enemy. Hold left and right, blah, 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 blah. and you can run away, but you can't run away from here. You can defend though, but yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show off both my attacks, so let's do it. Alright. <clears throat> Sweet! You know that hurt. I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up, and you'll beat him in no time. And I did a super guard. <laughs> super guards are really great to do. One of my favorite things about this game is that you can actually counter-attack in this game. And if you do it at the right frame, you can get a super guard. So the super guard pretty much attacks any enemy, I think. It'll do... I don't think it'll do damage all the time, because there's some enemies that will... won't be penetrable to it. But, a super guard can help you in situations where you want to dodge. So I just want to show that off. I'm not going to try to do super guards all the time, because it'll usually be fails. I actually managed to hit that on the first try, so... That was actually really lucky of me. I'm gonna use my hammer now so I can show off every attack. Boom! And I did a stylish. And he's done. Good job, that was a good first battle actually. You did get- you- <laughs> You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but these- You get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get to 100 star points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Yay! Got some star points, nice. Thanks so much. I love it when I get star points. He sounds like a piano. Oh, you got a couple decent shots in. I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means it's go time. Oh no, his army. It's his army. Oh no. Punish him. Ah! Get attacked. Oh no. See the freaking pit, Mario. Quick, this way. I believe you can hit these guys. I'm not. No, you can't. Okay. I was trying to see if you could hit them and they'll explode away. You'll see what I mean later. Um. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm just gonna quote this guy's Tim Allen now. Stop! <laughs> He's so confused. <laughs> Where'd they go? Are you Johnson? Did you see them? Did anyone? Nope. Um, crud, they bottled. Oh well, poor Crump. Alright. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks! I have just got to give you a little reward. Oh, that's... Beciality, bro. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like the famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool, anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into the town yourself, right? Yes, sir. Alright, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. Is this Laredo? I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, but I should have expected it. But sheesh! I never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Ooh, Mario's like, I want the breed. Also, pay attention to the background here, it's amazing. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure, too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko, what you got there? It's a map. It's a nice map. Oh my gosh, is, isn't that a treasure map? You have got to tell me where you got that. I got it on eBay for like $2. Um, Princess Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly, if it is, it's Master Mario. Oh look, it's Toadsworth. Bird of a coincidence, bumping into one Stay another in a sort of place, hmm? huh? Uh, so tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Are you okay? Mm, ah, indeed. Uh, Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? Uh, oh, forget this. And she told you she'd meet you here in Roport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is, eh? I was about to ask you that. Uh, we stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, and don't you know, I only took my eye off her for a moment. As soon as she vanished, she vanished. <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> I read that totally weird. Alright, I stopped reading as an old man voice. Kinda hurts my voice. Uh, you know how headstrong she is, Mario. I assume... I just assume she'd be back momentarily, but at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss... I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario, so surely we'll find her surely. 
But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. <laughs> it's because you're old. You don't know how to do anything. I'll recline at the inn right over there and perhaps enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop in. Drop on in. Ho <laughs> ho! Alright, we're done here. This game's over. Good night. Just kidding. Okay, anyway, little rest there. You'll find all your HP. Uh, I say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. It's rough indeed. Puff, oh, I say. Puff, oh, I say. <laughs> all right, Princess Peach. Did you mean like Peach from the Mushroom Kingdom, Princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser? The Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Okay, I find it pretty weird that... She knows who Princess Peach is, she knows who Bowser is, but she didn't recognize Mario the immediately how she saw him. I don't know, that's that's a little weird to me. That's, I don't know. I, I don't know, that always kind of like confused me a little bit. But maybe it's because I was thinking too hard into it, I don't know. It's just me, I just wanted to point that out. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then? What do you think? Uh, you think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Thinking emoji. Uh, yes, I know, Mario. Come with me. Uh, one of my professors is here researching that treasure. He'll show you on your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to the Princess Peach. Great. We're all good, then. Let's go, Mario. And Goombella has joined our party. Hello, Goombella. I know a lot of people like Goombella, but personally, she's not my favorite. I'm sorry. I, I love Goombella, but she's not my favorite partner in this game. <laughs> Uh, you'll see why. Okay, so pretty much you will be getting more partners in this game, kind of like you did in the original game. Um, she likes to do tattles. She can do uh, boink attacks. Kind of like Goombario. She's literally just a Goombario clone. Um, yeah, pretty much. And she, if you tattle, she can show you enemies HP. But there's something later on in the game that pretty much makes her useless and not necessary to use anymore. So I feel bad. But, yeah, she's not my favorite. So, let's keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Alright, so, while we could go look for Professor Frankly, I kind of want to explore the town a bit. So, I'm going to save once again, and we're going to talk to some people. We're going to see what's up. Alright, so let's talk to you real quick. Professor Frankly, huh? I think actually a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go on east from here. If you enter town from the harbor, just hang on right. So, uh, what about him? Uh, does this guy steal something important from you, or what? <clears throat> You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? If you press Z, you can check your current HP. I can't believe you didn't know that. Actually, did not know that. If you'd have low HP, you ought to go rest in an inn so you recover. Use your head. So yeah, you do press Z, you get to see your stats. Actually, I did not know that. That's actually really useful. Um, you go back here. Dang, yesterday I blew through 100 coins at the parlor. You believe that? But not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. They all favor me now. <laughs> Damn, he sounds quite like the winner, I say. Go in here, there's nothing here, but you get a star piece. Star pieces are scattered around the entire world, and I'll try my best to get all of them. <clears throat> That's one of the few locations I remember off the bat, but I will be getting them, and I probably will show the ones I do remember, so don't worry about it. Uh, listen, there is a huge secret, but I gotta tell somebody. I'm, I'm, I'm watching Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until uh, the, like, three months ago, so yeah, good one. Uh, but then the heat came down, and I needed to uh, hide out, so I came to Rokeport. Um, now that I told you, uh, you gotta keep it a secret, huh? <laughs> I'm so sly. Oh, man. Man, I, I, I just love the dialogue in this game. This game is so perfect. Okay, for a GameCube game, this game is perfect. Like, I am not joking. This game is so good. Um, right off the bat, I think you can buy off some items, actually. So, I think I should try to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a mushroom. My first time here, let me explain the shot point system with new customers, so bear with me. So yeah, uh, customers receive one shot point for each purchase they make. So you with me so far? So if you save enough shot points, you can get prizes, including some rare items. You'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. It's a pretty simple promotion, wouldn't you say, fella? Need me to explain it again? No, I'm good. Thanks so much. Alright, so I'm going to get the mushroom. Uh, I'll just buy two items for right now. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Yeah, and I'll buy a honey syrup. So yeah, there's more items over here. You got a tasty tonic, fire flower, sleepy sheep. You know, all of these items were in the original game. I could show off, um, uh, check the checkpoints. You have two points. Actually, can I see where my items are? Um, 
Okay, I can't see them, I guess. Oh, maybe it's this list back here. Maybe that's what it is. Yep, okay. So 10 points gives you a Mushroom. 20 points gives you an Ice Storm. 30 points gives you a Super Shroom. 50 points gives you a Thunder Rage. 70 points gives you a Shooting Star. 100 points give you a Gold Star. Life Shroom, Ultra Shroom, Jam and Jelly, and Gold Bar times 3. Very good items you want to get later on. So I recommend do shopping once in a while just to, you know, check in what's going on. Um, highly recommend doing that, always. Um, oi, I used to sail around and run wild in my younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding everywhere the place without giving it much thought. Oh, can't you take a hint, pal? means scram. Don't talk to me. Me in college. Ah, what are you doing? Sneak up on a person and he sings most jovially. Who me, you ask about? I am called Flavio. I am, how you say, a trader. And the richest man in Rogueport. Talk to you. Welcome new than yours. Have a seat. This is Podley's Place, a humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the way, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go up and relax. I don't think that's cola, sir. I don't I don't think that's cola, but yeah. A little dart machine. That's pretty cool. Dart machine. Dart board. Um, you can sleep here. I'm not going to sleep here because we're at full health. Talk to Tellsworth. Oh, where in the world could the princes have gone? Huh, I have no idea, man. No, yeah, but, ah, uh, man, this, this entire world, there's somebody's underpants hanging there. Um, this entire world is great, and also, there's a star piece up here. So, if you haven't got that one, get it. <clears throat> and up here, we have a open at 11 a.m. today. Okay, you can't access this place yet, but it's a place we'll visit soon. So, let's actually go to the right this time, because we can't do anything. <clears throat> oh, pardon me, sucker. Hey! What's your beef, pal? I'm talking to you! Mario, you gotta wake up. This guy just stole half of your coins. It'd be funny if I spent all my money and, like, he couldn't... <laughs> couldn't steal anything. Do you? Hey, <laughs> I'm putting another card trick today. I'm making tons of loot. But somebody started telling me, so I came here to hide for a while. Don't tell anyone or I'll bonk you. Alright, what do you gotta say? Hey, my name is Darkly. I like dim places, and now I'm done talking for now. Oh, what a shy little fella. Hopefully we can cheer him up. Right here, you get another star piece. Um, highly recommend you stop by these areas just to check out. You know, exploring this game is really fun. I recommend it. There's a shine sprite shot. We'll get more into this later. But for now, let's actually go into here. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly! Who's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you, you, uh, I've seen your face around here, that face. Uh, wait for it, just a moment. Uh, don't tell me now, Silas, I'll get it right. Um, uh, it's not Gumbriel, uh, or, uh, it's not Illigazoom, uh, um, um, ah, haha, I've got it! Uh, you're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at uh, you, Goom. Go, Goombas! <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty sure I'm good at remembering. Um, you know, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... I am Supermarcado. Supermarcado. Who? Huh? Question mark. Mario, Professor, he's Mario, you know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you would f tell us about the legendary treasure said to be Rogueport. Um, I thought if anyone knew anything about it, you would, would Professor, frankly. See, I can't read. Of course I know about it, but the reason I came here was to study the very subject. Um, but why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say is a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have searched for truth in the fairy tales, though. Uh, on me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and I will made. Uh, in that case, I'll corroborate with you however I can. But first, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. 
Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's actually an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to define the truth among them. But agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must find the crystal stars. Have the crystal stars. To find the crystal stars, you have to take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars? The old saying that super eerily old people? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven crystal stars. Alright, hold the magical map aloft the entrance of the thousand year door and the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. Lot of the lore red says that this magical map is taken to the doorway. And then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct! And the thousand year door is supposedly deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost, and if only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor, or well, not we, exactly Mario has the magical map. What? Humana, hubbity, hoobada, hippity, hoobada, humala, huffala, hoofala, really? You could actually have it. I could, I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind. Yes, I, I do mind. Don't look at it. Astounding, this is it. The real thing. The one only magical map. Wahoo. Oh, you son, I'm a hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this... You can find the crystal stars just by holding aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing? Just sit here, then. Kumpala, Mario, we must go. This is to take this magical map to the legendary door. Alright, and with that, we have an objective. <laughs> I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> That's gone. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Alright, let's get down. Oh wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain that there are quite a few hoodlums below, so I'll keep your guard up. Uh, you do know about your action commands, don't you? Uh, yes I do. I won't show them off, but... Yeah. I'll, I'll show you off myself, because I think I can explain it better. Alright, now go. I can't wait. Simply go underground, blah blah blah. Alright. So let's actually go. Ooh, it feels so good to finally do some stuff in the game. I know a lot of people don't like the prologue because it's actually very lengthy, but we will be doing it, so don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. We're doing good. Alright. Hey, 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 man. What's up? What's up? How do you got out there with you? Ooh. Hey, what's up, baby? Why well, didn't you come hang out with us for a while? Frick, I'm looking at What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Oh, what's fine looking Goomba doing a tubby mustache man like that? Hey, who you calling tubby? Hey, oh, it is uh, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously, uh, you guys like me to make you feel totally barfing. Now, get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. Man, you too good for us? Man, come off, assistant. Oh, nobody's even like that. Nobody. Let's get him. Oh, man, Goombas. They're the hoodlums. They're hoomblas. <laughs> Okay. Alright, you can't flee this fight. Goomba's finding a Goomba and a pair of Goomba Mai, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is the funny one in the middle. Just use your hammer on it, basically, and that one is airborne. Okay. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting, always. Alright, so here we have a first battle. Okay, can you, like, you know? Okay, yeah, you can switch partners uh, in between. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have Goombella turn this into a regular Goomba. I think he's dead automatically. Yeah, he is. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah, I'll just use that. Pretty simple. Pretty good. And I, I actually, I tried to do the super guard there. I'm done. Right, I'm gonna switch to Mario, and Mario should take this out pretty easily. Very good. All right. You can hear my controller in the background. Probably. All right, we got some decent star points. Nice, nice, nice job. Beat him, beat him pretty easily. Owie! They ran away. Ha! <laughs> Later on, losers! That felt awesome! Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty of more where that came from, and they'll have it in for us. Indeed they do. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while they're in the field. Attack successfully, you, should, you can perform a first strike when you enter the battle. Okay, yeah. First strikes are pretty much, if you attack them first, you'll get the first turn in the battle, vice versa. 
Uh, we can't go over here just yet, so we're gonna have to wait for this little little elevator thing to come over here, or we can just jump on it, and we should be good. Let's go in here. For some reason, they went back. Uh, anybody see that? That was that was weird. Okay. So now that we're down here, see some enemies. I'm gonna be fighting these guys. Um, they shouldn't take too long. I mean, this is just one enemy. Pretty good. Do, 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 do. You got the XP. All right. Ooh, Goombella's. Oh yeah, she took damage because I hit. I, I got her hit by the. Ooh, this guy. Okay. So this guy has an item, and since we killed him, we probably could get this item real quick. Hopefully, we can get it. Oh no. Okay, I think that was an. I think they have chances of dropping items. Alright. Oh, we got a mushroom. Well, I just wasted five points for nothing. A fire flower. Um, Alright. I'm just gonna attack him. Jeez Louise. And here we go. Easy peasy. Damn. Alright, I'm doing really good here. Nice. Give me that. Thank you. That we're gonna go down here. And we've arrived. Magical land of what's that? Uh, can't go through here. We have no ability. They can help us through here. There's a new enemy right here. I will go through them just right now. I just want to get up here first. <coughs> There's actually something you can do back here, but we'll come back for it much later. So don't worry about it for now. If you're confused about it. You're good. Now what you're recommended to do is go in there, but I recommend just getting this right now just to save time. Um, that's just me. You know what? We'll go for it. <clears throat> Pretty much, you're gonna need that key to uh, to progress. You need to look for it, but it's right there, so you don't need to worry about it. All right. So this is our first instance of a third HP enemy. I could use Tattle on it, just so I can have the HP on it forever. But we're good. Don't worry. I know it. I swear. I do. <laughs> All right. So we beat that guy. We're gonna go up here. Very nice. We're gonna see what's behind this treasure. Hopefully we have somebody over here to help us. Let's see. Whoa! Hey, can you hear me? You can? That mean that must mean you're a hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. Oh. Gee. See, long ago an evil spirit cast a curse, a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting for a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, big guy, we'll bring the hero like you to a place like this. Or Mario, we're with you. That's not exactly what we can trust with this box. Uh, maybe we can. I don't know. Uh, I think it might be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars. Are you now? Are you? So you really are a hero. Oh, you're definitely gonna need my help if you're gonna help to get those bad boys. Are we? Are you going to help me, though? Uh, so first, you should look for a key to this box, and definitely let me out. Definitely. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, we already have the key. Yeah, we got the key just right now. It's a little trick I like to use. Um, I just grabbed the key beforehand. That way, we don't have to go get it, just so we're in the room. I recommend you do that, too. I mean, it's, just like, right there. So, it's, uh, I'm counting on you, oh, great legendary hero. <clears throat> All right. So, we already have the key. Um, let me check the key. Important things, yes. Strange black key, what could it be used for? Alright, so once you give it back to him... Whoa, 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 you brought the key! Oh, man, I owe you big! Yes. Yes! Ha-ha! Think! Nothing! wee <laughs> Fools! Oh, shit. Oh, boy, did you fall for it? I burned you! What, you think I was gonna do? Help you? <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of my suffering and the dirt in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but these are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you. Buggly Wuggly Woo, you're cursed! Oh shit. Wee! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker! You got what you deserve! You wanna hear about the sweet curse I just dropped? Well, then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you turn into a paper airplane. Wee hee hee hee! Tempering! Yet, and the rest of my blah blah blah, my curse. Wee hee 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 hee! I can't help a turtle! This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. 
<coughs> Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to grow. Ooh. Oh yeah, you're on the panel. We'll try pressing Y, and then bam, your paper airplane. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess you got good at it. You may fly a long way, but that's only one good thing. So be honest, isn't this curse the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Uh, yeah. If you, if you just press A, you, he makes you listen to the entire thing again, and it's honestly very brutal. And it's a long text. But yeah, we got it. We are cursed. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? So, uh, what was that guy's beef? Beef. I want some beef stew. Alright. <clears throat> so we're gonna use our new ability. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna fly like the wind. Hopefully we can make it to the end. Oh, yes! Let's go! Oh, that was so perfect. And here we are, dudes. Thousand Year Door itself. Alright, let's play is over. We're done here. It's a Thousand Year Door spoken of in Legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. There it is. Big as life. Come, let's move closer. Alright, so once we... I somehow trigger that cutscene. Uh, it's a weird pedal, so huh? what do you think it could be? I don't know, let's activate our map and see what's up. Professor, what's going on? We got the first location of the Crystal Star. Wow. Oh, this game always eats my frame rate on anything. The location of the Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a new special move. You can also use Sweet Treat. Sweet Treat is every time you get a new... Okay, so every time you get a new Crystal Star, it works kind of like the uh, the Star Spares from 64. <clears throat> Professor, the map! And what's with all those crazy lights? Um, it appears that the information of the locations of the Crystal Star has appeared. And that shining light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mario time! Well, oh, my voice is a little sore. Ha <laughs> Hmm, ah, I see. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about the light we saw shining on Mario. Um. Oh, pfft. I accidentally skipped that. Special move? Yes, but stuff like this is better explained in an example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Uh, no thanks. I'm good. Nah, I'm, I think I'm good, bro. Alright. Absolutely sure? Well, then let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow, a standing. This map has radar-like functions. It now shows the location of the crystal star. It looks like it's in Petal Meadows. Okay. Petal Meadows, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious, so the name Petal Metals did come up to my research from time to time. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know to get there, or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. Uh, if you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Okay, say by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where'd you get that map, anyway? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach? This wouldn't be her, wouldn't it? So it is her. Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. Doesn't seem likely, but she perhaps tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off the Petal Meadows, to you go. Uh, if Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the Crystal Stars must mean to an end, and that is end of Princess Peach. Alright, give me back my map, old hag. 
Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Oh, of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, then, Mario, we're off. Alright, and with that... I thought it was going to give me an item there. Um, And with that, we... Oh, never mind, he gives it to you here. <laughs> here you go. He gave it to me. We got Power Smash. All right, scary out there. Yeah, blah, blah, something about badges. I accidentally pressed yes when I didn't mean to press yes, but basically, uh, badges uh, are pretty much, they work the same way as the last game. Uh, you can equip them with BP, FP. You need FP to conserve them, so, um, sorry, BP to conserve them, and you use the badges with F points, flower points. We'll get more to that later. But anyways, now, I think we're done for today. This has been a pretty lengthy episode. Um, just to start out the adventure, so yeah, next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we're going to explore Petal Meadows. I'll see y'all next time, and thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.